Good evening. I'm Jim Satterley. Welcome to Sports Monday. And have we got a hefty portion for you. We are inside the Isidoro Beaton Stadium Saturday night where the front runners clash to determine who would come out as the undisputed leader inside the PLB closing season in week five. It's the league leader. Verdes FC that looks to strike first. Alan Pinheiro finds his Brazilian counterpart, Jorez Silva, with this perfect pass and only the skillful reaction by bandits keeper Shane O'Rea keeps the scoreboard unmoved. The bandits continue to press. Jerome James with the excellent feed to Goliador. George Welcome who beats Rodrigo Vasquez but cannot get it into the net. Maybe it's not George Welcome's day because this pass by Jerry Palacio is spot on. But the striker fails to finish at the half. It's a scoreless ball game at the resumption of play. It's Palacio again providing George Welcome. And this time it's the intervention of Eloy Smith that keeps the ball game scoreless. 62 minutes in, Elroy Smith launches this set piece that somehow navigates its way to Jonathan Castillo, whose amazing chick shot brings an unexpected surprise to goalkeeper Oreo, and Verdes takes the one ziply just like that. We're 74 minutes deep when Trevor Lennon goes for the long distance launch. The ball deflects off George Welcome. It goes to Elroy Smith, who goes for the save. Instead, he lifts the ball into the goal for the own goal. We have a 1-1 one -one tie. The bandits now have new life. George Welcome deals to an open Kevin Vicente who hits the near upright instead of shaking the net. At the 88 minute, Belmopan again gets to steal the win. This time it's Rilwan Salawu whose goal is denied by the near upright. At the end of regulation, it's a 1-1 one -one tie between Verdes and Bandits. You will see these two again for certain. In other results from around the league, San Pedro Pirates struck Wagia FC with a 4-1 punch. Altitude Assassins doubled the police 2-1, to one, while the Belize Defense Force and Freedom Fighters battled to a scoreless stalemate. In other football news, the FFB's Women Amateur Tournament continues to roll. We caught up with Saturday's showdown between Gladiators and the San Pedro Invaders. Off the missed attempt, Katie Jones bombs this ball into the net to give Gladiators a 1-0 lead. Nailini Manzanero, in a one-on-one -on -one confrontation with the keeper, makes it 2-0 for the Gladiators. Three minutes later, this clearance by San Pedro is directly to Katie Jones. Naturally, she takes advantage and gets her second goal of the match. In second half action, Katie Jones scores her third. Katie's fourth goal comes with this individual effort that finishes with a right foot push. Enough respect to Alison Rubin, who puts San Pedro onto the scoreboard with this truly nice finish. Miriam Villamil strikes for Gladiators at the 78th minute. Katie is not finished, people, as she strikes again, settling for her fifth goal. And it's Sheila Pena who scores at the 98th minute to give the Gladiators an 8-1 big W over San Pedro. In other scores, Rombiras and Altitude battle to a 1-1 stalemate. Joel Fury of Belmopan, the defending champion in women's football of this nation. They blank down Griga. Pumas, 5-zip. Verdes Rebels blank Royal Maya Hill, 9 nothing. San Pedro strikers fell to ladies, freedom fighters. And Black Orchid jolted Corozal Scorpion 7 to nothing. In canoe racing, 13 teams competed in the RF and G up and down river challenge that ran from Mahogany Hall Resort inside Bulichi Village to the Western Bridge in San Ignacio. At crunch time, it was crunch time in the male category, sponsored by Burnbox slash National Aggregates, who paddled in in uncontested fashion for top honors featuring Amado Cruz and Daniel Cruz Sr. Guava Lim of the junior category took second place, powered by Javier Guardado, Andres Cab, and Daniel Cruz Jr. Upside down of the mixed class, sponsored by Fianders. They took third under the power of Andres Cab and Francisco Cruz. Hey, they were only two, but they finished third. Let's switch to the basketball scene. We've got Friday night's Belize Hurricanes versus Verdes clash inside the Belize City Center. And it's Verdes roaring out of the starting blocks as Tyron Hall sinks the triple. Give some props to Richard Choya who steps in here for two of his 12 game points. It's Al Verdes in the opening quarter. Elvis Usher Jr. hooks up with Chris 
Frazier, and he goes strong to the bucket for two of his 14 points. Tyrone Hall gets this ball to Usher, and this time he strikes for the triple. If you're wondering how come this is the situation, well, the defending champion Hurricanes is short of their go-to shooter, Devin Daly, and the chairman of the boards for them, Brian White. Therefore, the first quarter score of 23 to 10 reflects this reality. Nevertheless, in the second quarter, the Hurricanes strike back, but not before Andrew Ortiz slams home the dunk with authority. Glency Lopez, hero for this team tonight, finds Tyree Orozco, who goes glass for two of his eight points, and he would lead all players with 10 rebounds. Akeem Waters then launches the triple, and he played big for 13.7 boards. On this press, Glency Lopez crashes knee-to-knee -knee into Richard Troyer. Lopez writes on the floor in pain, but he would recover and return to the fray. George Buckley then sees Akeem trap unattended, so he deals and traps, sinks the bucket for three points. He would total ten. At the half, Belize Hurricanes are back in the hunt, only down by six. Glency Lopez returns to the scene in the third, and he lands this triple. He would lead the Hurricanes with 16 points and five assists. However, various hangs tough people. Tyron Hall raises up for three of his game-high 18 points. Just before the third quarter expires, Akeem Trapp comes up with this steal and lands the triple for the Hurricanes. Still, it's Verdes boasting a 54 to 46 lead going into the final quarter. Glency Lopez, he cuts the Verdes lead to four with these two points. With 2.36 remaining in the ball game, Verdes would go on to grab the victory in a 76 to 65 final score. And hey, you really got that one. It belongs to you. In other results, Griga Jimbala's rallied past OW running Rebel 79 to 69, and San Pedro Tiger Sharks stunned the Belmopan Bandits in an 81 to 69 final score. Fox Sports Monday certainly mourns the passing of Dwayne Cummings, a member of the Orange Walk running Rebels, who was fatally shot on Sunday, February 10th in Orange Walk, sometime after Saturday's NEBL outing against Dangriga Jimbalas. Dwayne also played in the Amadea Basketball League and was a business student at the University of Belize. For a young man of his caliber to be gunned down is simply chilling, and the Belizean community demands answers. Sleep on, Dwayne. Hey, folks, that's our show for today. Hope you enjoyed it. We invite you back same time, same place next week. Ja! Overall, I'm James Adderley.